Hello everyone, welcome back to our Yellow Couch Chat session. We meet here every Friday to talk about different issues happening in the workplace, life, and everything in between. In today's episode, we have um, two very special guests with us. These are none other than our students from the Generation Empower program, current, currently running at the University of Dar es Salaam. And they are here to talk to us, to give us reflections about Generation Empower. They are two young people. There are so many other young people out there, soon to be graduates. So we want to hear from them. How, do, how are they preparing themselves um, to enter into the job market? They'll soon be graduates, they'll soon enter the job market. Are they ready? Are they preparing themselves? What are the challenges? So we'll get to hear from them and we'll have a lot to chat and talk about. With that, I invite you all to this session, um, to this Yellow Couch. My name is Nancy Bogoro and I will let my guests introduce themselves. Here you go. All right, so as promised, as mentioned, I have here with me two um, special guests. To my left is Miss Isa Omari. And to my right is Mr. Henry Zhao. We are both um, our students from Generation Empower, and I'm gonna let them say hello to our audience. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, like she said, my name is Aisa Omari. I am a finalist at the University of Dar es Salaam taking banking and financial services. I am also a leader at the Dar es Salaam University Finance Association. And yeah, that's the short interview. This is Yellow Couch. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, and you? Hello guys, my name is Henry Zhao. I'm, I'm also a panelist at the University of Dar I'm also taking Bitcoin in finance. And also in Dupa, that is the Dar Salaam University Finance Association, mm. as the advisor of the center. But I'm also a basketball fan, so I work with Dar basketball fan. Awesome. So, advisor to the president, and you are? A alumni coordinator. Alumni coordinator. Awesome. So, um, I would like you guys to tell our viewers, what's it like to be a part of the Generation Empower program? What has your experience been so far? What lessons, what do you enjoy the most from this program? And do you think it's helping you um, prepare you for the future, the future that, your future career, I would say? Mm -hmm. so, uh, well, for me, um, the, my experience so far has just been very educative, very fun, super energetic. <laughs> um, my favorite part about the whole program is honestly just uh, being able to hear everybody's opinions and views on the different things that they learn about, like um, teamwork, or just recently we learned about ethics, and it was interesting hearing what uh, people had to say about that because it's a really broad topic. Mm. So I love that different minds can come together and and you know just share different ideas. Mm. Yeah. And uh, what thing do you think will you be um, taking away from the program that you're going to use um, in your first job? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think the most important thing that I can take from that is that it's really important for us as the youth to try to engage ourselves with, with so many different programs that teach us different skills. You know, it's not just you go to university and you get your degree, that's not enough. You need to undertake other kind of programs to learn different skills that would be needed in your particular industry. Mm. Okay, so can you pinpoint one specific skill that you're going to use? One specific skill, uh, yeah. that's analysis, mm. financial modeling, because mm. I'm a finance student. Okay. okay, awesome. What about you? Let's hear from you, Henry. So the program, the program has been very insightful. Mm. I like how our facilitator is saying like, the breakdown these concepts that we feel or we think are really new, mm. but how they break them down one after another and you try and think about them and you actually realize there's something you're missing or maybe you're taking it too lightly mm -hmm. and actually just need to understand that the people at the job market mm -hmm. what they're expecting from us mm -hmm. might be some of these very basic things mm -hmm. that we don't take into mm -hmm. account mm -hmm. so it has been very fun mm -hmm. actually learning from them and mm -hmm. understanding that the little things that actually come at times how do you see this helping you for your future or your first job? I think it builds character. Mm. It builds the person that is actually needed for the job. Mm. Because I might have the grades, I might have the GPA, but I do not have the quality that the job market needs. So the program actually gives me, gives me that because they have the insight of what the job market needs. Mm. And it's been fun. It's been fun. That's awesome to know. 
you two are among the lucky 250 students that are currently uh, taking the program um what do you think in your views do you think other young people that there are I'm, I'm pretty sure there are other programs similar to gnm that are running in, in from different platforms but do you think um being a part of um you know you, you've been students you you've seen your fellow students you have friends and other young people in the community you live do you think they are preparing themselves um for their let's say for their careers or for the future how do you see them in your opinion do you think young people are attentive to you know the the, the future that's very near and that's coming and um are they readying themselves for taking up future roles as business leaders or future employees for certain companies mm -hmm. mm, yeah um from my opinion i see those people as two different groups of people because you have um you have people who don't really see the um, the value of let's say a degree. So these people would undertake like maybe the entrepreneurship uh, route, mm -hmm. you know, go for businesses and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I do see that um, people like that do try to go uh, undertake like all these different kinds of you know programs that are available, mm -hmm. teaching them different entrepreneurial skills and all of that. So mm -hmm. on that side, I do see that. Mm -hmm. And on our side, as students who are like in you know students who are at the university. Mm -hmm. um, there's a certain percentage mm. that I think um, do see the importance of these kind of programs mm. and there are others who you know might not so it's it's a little 50 50 mm. on that um, it's a 50 that. 50 yeah what do you think Henry um, close to what I said that you talked about but when I actually try to see if they see the value mm. of such programs in comparison to also other programs that they probably been undertaking before this program I think the continuous learning process in this program is quite vital. The fact that we go week in, week out, mm -hmm. workshops, seminars, mm -hmm. we break down the concepts, we find and discuss it, we give out assignments where people can actually practice mm -hmm. what they've learned and give feedback mm -hmm. has been something that I haven't experienced in other programs. Do you think there is an awareness to, amongst your peers at the university that I need to prepare myself? I need extra knowledge other than just what I'm getting from class, from um, my degree. Do you think there's that awareness and the consciousness to and the drive to say, let me go out there and maybe Google or read extra materials? Because these materials are available online. If Genem wasn't there, I'm pretty sure someone could have, um, you know, looked for them on LinkedIn and other platforms, but do you see that happening? Um, like I said, 50-50, mm -hmm. but from the people that I have seen, yes, I, I do think that there is that awareness. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> Are you not just favoring them? Because I know when I was a student, just lectures, yeah, well, party, <laughs> honestly, uh, but is there a change? I think slowly we're moving in the right Mm. Because the fact that the general program actually tells you at first that this is what is required for you probably to get into this organization, this is what they need. Mm. It's not about what they want, mm. but it's about what they need. So most of the students are actually realizing that, mm. okay, we need to do something extra. Mm. And they're working on it because they're getting like branded art when they go for interviews. Oh, yeah. And they see some of the questions that are the same things that we mm. tell them about. Awesome. So tell me what it's like being a young person in this digital era, Aisa. Um, okay. What it's like being a young person. Yeah. So um, much information out there, so many gadgets. I mean, there's just it's just crazy in this digital space. Yes. What is it like? It is very um I would say I think the word I'm looking for is hectic. I, yeah, because you, you hectic in a bad way, like in, negative. <laughs> most okay, personally speaking, it's it's uh, hectic in a confusing way because we are in the digital era and everybody knows that yeah, you have your mobile phone and you can search up, you can literally learn anything, anything and anywhere as long as you have network and a device, but it's hard to focus mm. do you know what i'm saying it, it, you really need that self-discipline mm. and i feel like okay i'm saying that personally speaking but mm. i think that that's also for for most people right mm. I, mean, I think it's it's kind of like that yeah i think it 
it's to an age whereby new skills are required. Mm-hmm. Yeah. New skills in terms of learning. Mm-hmm. So you need to actually learn in different ways and maybe we're not exposed to different ways. Mm-hmm. So it is very fine mm-hmm. because you feel like the person next to you has the same set of like resources as you have. So what is going to differentiate you? Mm-hmm. You feel like I can go to YouTube and Google or mm-hmm. stuff like that. But everyone has access. Mm. What is the right direction to go? Mm. What do you think young people can do differently? Or what should they start doing in the midst of all this confusion and hecticness? Um, if they really want to excel, mm. if I really want to excel, mm. um, definitely self-discipline. Knowing, knowing when to use your phone mm. for learning purposes and knowing when to use your phone for, you know, recreational purposes. Mm-hmm. I think it's really, I, I really think that's a skill that everybody just needs to have. Mm-hmm. That's self-discipline. Mm. Yeah, personally speaking. <laughs> that's a good one. Take note of that. Mm-hmm. Try home. Okay. You, <laughs> are, aren't you yeah. adding to the confusion? No, it's like we have room to play. Mm. We're still young mm. and at least we'll be failing while learning, which is actually not failing. Mm. It's just that we learned that this is not the right Try way. all the good things or just try everything? What are you saying? <laughs> Whatever is accessible to you, try and narrow it down mm. and prioritize. So you need to focus, mm. but at the same time, you should not get discouraged just because there's so many things. Just focus on a few things, start small and big. So just try. Mm. Start by doing it. Along the way, somebody's going to come. I'm parking for you because you mm. tried. So. Because you showed up for an opportunity yeah. and you made yourself available. So um, now, can you tell me, you've been um, you've been exposed to, to through GenM, you've been exposed to the corporate world, mm-hmm. but also um, as a young person, I'm sure you're keeping yourself, yourself informed of what the government is doing to support young people in the country. But what, in your opinion, what do you think uh, is the practical thing for the government or the private sector to do to make sure that they're supporting this university graduate to embark on their first career or to just get their dream or kickstart their career, whether as an entrepreneur or someone who wants to get a job. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think that the most practical thing they can do is run workshops, run trainings. You know, if a private company, um, let's say dealing, like let's say a bank, right, and and it wants to recruit people. It needs people who actually have those skills, who actually know how to use this program, who actually know how to use my, I mean, Microsoft mm-hmm. Excel, who actually know how to do these things. So I feel like if these companies, or even if, like even the government, if they were to start up different workshops mm-hmm. to just teach graduates, to teach students these skills, and then they could be practicing, you know, practicing before they go for the interview, mm-hmm. they have a better chance of getting employed. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Take note of that. <laughs> yeah, and just out of that, mm. I think they need to also embrace <clears throat> technology. Mm. I think that is the best way out of You feel like situation. which who would need to embrace it? The private sector or the government? Both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like when you're looking at the student, mm. if both the private sector and the government embrace technology in terms of reaching the students in these workshops, mm. you don't have to physically go there, mm. but you can set up online workshops online sessions where they can actually see the students can see like what is demanded of them like what is it or what does it feel like working in the corporate world what is needed and how let's say like how can i do it you need to do this this and that so i think that type of interaction can really help because you can easily start preparing the person that you need and i feel like that coordination needs or that link needs to be there do you feel like there's a gap between the corporate world or the government and the say young people or graduates do you feel like there's a like a gap they're in their own world and waiting for you guys to cross <laughs> over and go to them or do you feel like there's a link or what, what are your th- thoughts on that there's a huge gap that i feel <laughs> 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 the workshops and the gym programs are really 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 helping mm. because it's like before the program, I thought what I needed was the grade to get to the university. Mm-hmm. But you talk to these like, 
people from mm. these like companies mm. and that's not all they needed mm. why didn't I go out before yeah. she just told me mm. that I needed one two three because I'm ready mm. to get prepared yeah. so they get excited when they see that we're actually mm. like trying and it will be even better if they just give us the chance to do workshops mm. and like sessions over the internet mm. yeah. Mm. And to add on to that um, about the gap, mm. I think there is a really big knowledge gap. Because, mm. like you said, you could have really good grades, but is what you learned actually going to be used in what you're doing? You know, which mm. is a, why we're kind of um, we're kind of emphasizing on the whole. These companies should be the ones who have to run workshops. These mm. ones should be the ones to teach us the skills mm. that we actually need. need. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. This is very interesting. I hope. Um, everyone who's watching this from whatever co corporate world you're from you're able to pinpoint and take note of this um so any final words to fellow young people to fellow we're gonna we're about to start cohort two uh we're gonna start cohort two this year in august any words to you know the upcoming third years final years for them to join the program or to take up any opportunities such as genem in order for them to you know because you've seen the value yes. and what genem has brought and has helped you with so far yeah um i'm talking to you um <laughs> <laughs> listen definitely definitely give it a try even if you feel like it's not gonna be helpful or, or anything to you it's not gonna hurt to try mm. <laughs> it's really not it's just a few hours it's mm. just a couple of hours of your day and like a few hours give it a try honestly i think you will like it more than you'll hate it yeah. <laughs> guaranteed mm -hmm. yeah i don't think i can say anything better than that. <laughs> but the value yeah the value within the program is the best thing or is the closest thing to the reality that is out there. Mm. So you have people that are actually trying to help you and show you that this is a reflection of the reality that is out there. So before you get like bulldozed <laughs> by whatever is coming, True. it's better to take caution and like it actually is going to help you, not just in the market but as a person mm. and your character and your personal or your self growth. Yeah. Awesome. And we're going to end the session with our famous um, Genem hashtag, Genem slogan. <laughs> what do we say? Genem? Genem on, on your, your future. future. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Aisa, mm -hmm. for joining us. Thank you, Henry. This was a very cool chat. I think um, you two have exceptionally, you know, broken down this this topic today you've made us understand how genem has brought value to to your to your i would say education and what it has added extra to what you knew um and now you know more than what you initially know knew so thank you so much for watching this session this episode of yellow couch um if you are a partner or would like to partner be a partner um of generation empower program i encourage you to visit our website there's a number there's an email get in touch with us and we'll let you know how best you can help if you're coming from any company a corporate world an ngo and you see value from what our um, this student have shared concerning our um, generation and power program we are open to your ideas or if there's any way we could help um, we could um, do this better you have ideas new ideas of how we could implement this come on the, the door is open Caribunistana empower and uh, we do not like to close before inviting you to become a mover on our um, page our our, our our website we have a mover page if you like writing you like sharing ideas you want to communicate to the world basically empower is the place to be so create your mover profile on our website and start writing start sh posting your videos start sharing and we will um, share your ideas with the world so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel follow us across our social media platforms and until next time, my name is Nancy Bogoro. This was Isa and Henry. Bye. Bye. <laughs>